Hi friends! So I wanted to do a quick video today and share um, a message from um, a deck that I haven't used in a long time and I felt really called to use and share with you today. So today I pulled a card for the collective. Just ignore my, my crazy uh, dark circles. Um, it, this card comes from the um, the Four Agreements, which is a 48 um, card deck by Don Miguel Ruiz, and it's based on his best-selling book, The Four Agreements. And if you're not familiar with it, um, The Four Agreements are basically um, four principles on how to live your best um, highest vibrational, liberating, and peaceful life. The first agreement is be impeccable with your word. So remembering that words have vibrations and energy and power and whatever you say, you're speaking into existence. So being very careful with the words you create, the message you send, and how you talk to yourself and how do you talk to other people. The second principle is don't take everything personally. So that's about being able to be... Um, in a position where you don't take everything um, so deeply uh, personally. So it's not always about us, right? So ego will tell us that um, if someone is acting a certain way is because they're mad at us so we did something wrong or, you know, we fell short somehow or we're being persecuted or we have the victim mentality. And um, this agreement is a reminder that, you know, people are going through their own independent journey and they're going through whatever emotions and trauma and situations so not everything is about us we have to just be in our energy bubble and being able to uh, discern what is um, something that we need to accept as directed at us or um, discern what is someone else's um, energy that does not relate to us so not letting everything impact us being very careful um, with um not making everything a part of our ego it's not always about us and just being so secure and confident in your own energy and where you stand that you don't take everything personally the third agreement is don't make assumptions which is kind of a big one i think we all do that we often recreate this version of reality based on what we think is happening or what we um have been led to believe based on um, old stagnant old patterns and things that don't necessarily reflect reality as it is or um, the situation as it really is and the fourth and final one is always do your best which is really um, that should be the code of life that's something that we should always strive to do is to always do our very best to uh, learn from our mistakes move on from experiences and just you know grow from it and try to do everything with a pure heart so that there is no ill intentions behind it and just you know having that that karma that that good intention and the good vibration knowing that you know whether the situation is fair or not we are always putting out our very best so that we can accept expect the very best to come back to us and just doing it because it is the proper thing to do because we are divine beings we come from divine we come from god and it is our right but also duty to um uphold that standard of being just a, a good person and, go, and doing good things so the card for today actually relates very strongly to that third agreement which is um, don't make assumptions so the card that i pulled today for the collective is don't make assumptions um, eliminate gossip so this card says making assumption is a setup for suffering because usually we gossip about our assumptions we make assumptions and believe we are right then we defend those assumptions and try to make others wrong so for a moment i was a little like hmm have i been gossiping or anything like that like trying to really look into myself but i think it goes way outside of the scope of whether we are personally gossiping about other people so yes maybe this could be um a quick wake-up call about hey you know maybe we are engaging in some assumptions and talking about other people and not really uh you know stepping out of what is not it's not our place uh to talk about some somebody else so if that's the case yes we must check ourselves but i think it also talks um a lot about what we surround ourselves with 
So we, if we are constantly in a situation where people are gossiping about other people and um, you know spreading their assumptions, mostly negative, um, even though we are not doing the gossiping ourselves, um, it is still engaging in that negative energy in that toxic environment. So what is that toxic environment of gossip? Again, I think it goes way beyond the just the gossiping um, description, which is like talking usually maliciously about someone else. It's about making assumptions that other people are acting a certain way because of, you know, ignorance or um, just ill intent or anything like that. It's maybe being a little bit softer in the way we regard other people and honoring and accepting that everyone has their own stories and their own trauma and their own um their own uh, growth and path that they're going on and even though it looks uh unfamiliar or even negative or um toxic to us that's still their journey to go through now we don't have to be involved in it and we don't have to um you know get caught up in it but being that self-righteous like oh they're doing wrong they're you know down the wrong path that is not for us to engage in that conversation that is not you know that's not for us to judge so it's being mindful today more than ever that other people's journey is their own and we need to dissociate from their journey and allow them to have that experience without feeling the need to talk about it and discuss it and analyze it and dissect it because honestly that's just going to bring our vibration down and at the end of the day we don't know we don't know the whole story we only see what people portray and if you look deep inside yourself i know i do a lot of times people see a, a version of me they're like bubbly and and got it all together or you know i don't know but they have no idea like if I'm having a bad day, right? And I think we can all relate to that. People just see your, your, the side that you choose to show. But at the end of the day, we are like these icebergs, you know, we're like, people can only see uh, what's at the tip of the iceberg, you know, the, the, at the surface, but what's below? There's so much, we have so much going on and we don't share that with the world and we don't have to share it with the world. So, I guess the point that I'm making in a very confusing kind of thing uh, is that we don't have to make assumptions based on what is there in front of our eyes all the time. We don't have to make assumptions based on what someone else is telling us. We can just let things be and just be stay neutral. I think more than ever, we need to start being more neutral with our assumptions and with our thinking because this constant labeling good or bad, uh, high and low, it's sort of like exhausting. Let things just be and fo let's focus on our own energy. Let's focus on our, on our own karma and our own growth and our own path and journey. So I hope this resonates. Um, I thought it would be cool to do a reading from this deck because I, like I said, I haven't used it in such a long time. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonates. So let me know what you think. Um, and yeah. Have a wonderful weekend. I hope you're doing well. Stay safe, make good choices, and I love you. Bye.